Hey guys, welcome to Matt's Hub. Today we're looking at using the variable layer height feature in Slicer Prusa Edition. Variable layer height is a really handy feature that you can use to define different parts of your model to print with different layer heights. Now this can be done with Simplify 3D's multiple processors, but one, Slice is free, and two, Slice's variable layer height actually lets you smoothly transition between two different layer heights, so you can't really see uh, the transition zone in your print. So here's an example of something that you could use this on. Um, it's a part of the Heart Gears model that you can download on Thingiverse, the link's in the description. Um, and it's got quite a flat, uh, sort of rounded top surface here. So usually you'd want to print this with a finer layer height so you don't see the layer lines as much. Uh, but with variable layer height, we can define a coarse layer height like 0.3 millimeters, for example, on these vertical surfaces where the detail is not needed, and then smoothly transition to a finer layer height where it gets closer and closer to the top. So that can help us to cut down on quite a lot of print time. Let's head over to Slicer now and I can show you how to do it in the software. So here we are in Slicer Prusa Edition with the Heart Gears part here. And the first step is to click on our part and then click Layer Editing up here. And that'll bring up this grey bar on the right hand side that you can see. And as I move the mouse up and down it's highlighting different parts of the model. And if you look closely at these darker lines on the top surface, that's actually a preview of what the layer lines will look like on the top when it's printed. So. Uh, firstly, we're going to set what the minimum and maximum layer height that we can adjust to is. So to do that, we'll go to Printer Settings, Extruder 1, or whatever extruder you're using, and then go to Layer Height Limits. And I'm going to set the minimum to 0 0.07 and the maximum to 0 0.25. They're just the defaults. And the base layer height of what it, everything is currently at is 0.3 millimeters because that's what I've got it set to here. So now we'll go back to the plater, and I'm just going to start by adding detail to the top of the part here. And you can see by clicking and holding the left mouse button, it's brought this blue line up to represent uh, adding detail or a lower layer height. So I can click and hold the left mouse button, and that's going to add detail further down the part. Don't worry about jagged edges like that, because that's what this smoothing is for. So shift and right mouse button. If I hold those two, I can go over and smooth all of that out. And that can all be smoothed into a straight line. And to increase the area that I'm editing, I can use the scroll wheel, just like that. So I can smooth over that whole area more efficiently. Just like that. There we go. So now we've got a smooth transition between 0.3 millimeters all the way down here up to 0.07 millimeter layer height at the very top. And that's looking really nice, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. So now all that's left is to just click slice and I'll have a look at the preview. Here it is. Looks perfect. So, I'll send that to the printer, and I'm also going to print off uh, the same part, but just at 0.3mm layer height all the way through, so we can compare the print time. So, I'll head off and do that now. So, here are the two prints, all finished now. Uh, the print with variable layer height took 53 minutes, and the print without variable layer height took 47 minutes. So just a six minute difference for this massive improvement in detail that you can see here. So that's all for today's video guys, hope you learned something. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see any future 3D printing tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye.